Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Elvis and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Elvis' ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivation that we give the boy when we're working with him and the training equipment that Rich is using. He is using a regular six-foot web training leash. He keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only adjustment that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar. That is the second piece of equipment that we're using and Elvis will come home with his very own training collar. If we have his leash here, we will send it back home. If not, bring it with you. Now he is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for us is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Elvis heal. Now at this point Elvis has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with you when you're walking. Not forging ahead, not lagging behind, not dragging you down the street, keeping his nose up off the ground and keeping him more focused on you than what's going on around him. And that's not easy with a Weimaraner. When Rich stops his feet, he has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. Stay. This is the sit, stay. It's a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise, we do not use his name. And we have to give props to Sarah. One of his trainers has done a lot of hard work with him to get him where he is today. When Rich returns back, he walks right back to heel. Elvis should have held it, he did not, but when Rich made him sit and they take off healing again. Rich changes direction a lot to keep the dog focused on him because if you walk in a straight line for a long time, it gets boring for him and then he wants to put his nose on the ground and then he's not healing anymore. So Rich changes direction to keep him focused. Nice automatic sit, another stay. And this time Rich will demonstrate the recall. He does use his name for this command, but he keeps a pretty low tone and he calls him in and he's been taught to come and sit. No more launching himself or jumping on you. And if you over praise, it's some, sometimes it's not even over praise. Any praise will get him revved up as you already know. So those right turns make him focus on you. Nice sit. Stay. Stay again. Now your homework is going to be to work on all of these things. It's quality time that you can spend with him doing something that has a positive result. Not just mindless playing or running. He needs to do that too, but not to the exclusion of his training. That was a great about turn. Now with him seated, you're going to put your flat of your palm straight down toward the ground on the one word command to down and stay. And your job at home is going to be to lengthen out again the amount of time he can hold it and the distance that you can go. And you can practice the down stay right in your house. It's probably easier because out here there's sticks and twigs and leaves and things that he wants to put his mouth on where in the house there's less distraction. You're down from a heel and stay. Now he popped up, so Rich is going to make him repeat. Yeah, he wants to roll on his side.
And that's a pretty good long down stay. Rich calls him in, has him sit. And you'll get a chance to work with him tomorrow with Rich acting as your coach. He's going to be off the chain excited to see you. So we have to calm him down first and then make him go to work. This is your down from a distance. Now Rich isn't too far away from him when he gave that down, but he did do it. He left him in a stay, turned to face him, and then gave him the same down command. So we have demonstrated for you healing, auto sit, sit and stay, sit, stay, calm, down from a heel and down from a distance. These are the commands that we want you to practice daily with him when he first goes home and use them in your everyday communication with him. He is a challenging dog and it's going to require work on your part when he goes home. We've enjoyed having him and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.